but that description doesn't give us much to go off of. Exactly! Even when Inazuma was completely closed off, we still managed to run into people from there and other nations. Huh. Could it be that there are no humans in Natland? Yes, yes! That look of surprise and excitement is perfect! Hold it right there. Now look at the camera and big smiles on three. Ready? Okay, just make sure you get Paimon's good side. Wait, hang on a minute! What's with the photo shoot, Charlotte? Well, I heard you two were about to leave for the next part of your journey. After everything you did for Fontaine, the Steambird simply had to follow up on a scoop like that. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be short on material once you're gone. Oh, so you knew we were leaving! We don't need a big send-off, that's not really our thing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not your style, but we got to thinking. And, well, a little change never hurt anyone, right? Uh, we? <sighs> All those obstacles we overcame side by side. <sighs> Feels like it was just yesterday. Don't be a stranger now, partner. If you encounter any troubles along your journey, you need only let us know, no matter the distance between us. Partings are inevitable, of course. But distance makes the heart grow fonder, right? One thing we'll never change, though. We'll always have the memories we made together during this time. Whoa, you're all here! That we will. I'm looking forward to hearing about your future adventures. So make sure to stop by and tell us about them sometime. Well, in light of your impending departure, shall we take a photo together? Ooh, great idea! We even have a professional photographer with us. Charlotte, would you do us the honor? Leave it to me. Now just give me a moment to set the camera up. Oh, by the way, you're overthinking the whole Natlan issue, Paimon. Natlan has human inhabitants and its own unique culture, just like Fontaine. It's just that, because of their local customs, the native people choose not to leave. They're not unwelcoming to outsiders, though. People travel there for business and leisure alike, and usually return with nothing but good things to say. Many members of the Spina have visited in the past, too. Well, that's a relief. Hopefully we don't get swept up in any major drama this time. Well, given your experience and skill in that regard, I have no doubt you'll be able to overcome anything that comes your way. Still, I hope you can avoid danger this time around. An uneventful trip might be a nice change of pace. All right, I'm ready. Shall we? Well then, traveler.
bon voyage Follow the wind. Rises.
见。Fury. Upon the gale. Strange mountains and so many animals Paimon has never seen before. Uh, huh. Doesn't look like there are any cities around here, though. Where should we start? Good idea. Finding people means we can learn information about the local Archon. And once we've met the Archon, we should have a better idea of what to expect during our journey. Well, Paimon hopes this one is easy to get along with. As long as we don't get on their bad side, we should be fine. Let's keep following the road!
We've got to be on the right track. I'm sorry, Kachina. I know it's not right for us to go back on our word like this, but Kempoa and I have to do well during this pilgrimage. You can't seem to find other people to join our team, and we don't have time to sit around and wait. But, but if you two leave, I'll be the only one left. We really are sorry, but you still have plenty of chances. You're young, and you bear an ancient name on top of that. We're just ordinary tribal warriors with years of battle under our belt and no glory to show for it. Not to mention, the physical toll of all that fighting, we're no longer in our prime. Uh, we barely had a chance last time, remember? We can't expect a better result with even fewer people. Pilgrimage registration closes tonight. This is our last chance to switch teams. Well... I guess it is what it is. I just wish I was stronger. I'm nothing compared to the other ancient name bearers. But never mind. I guess this is just par for the course as Uthabiti, huh? I'm sure I'll figure something out. Well, if we do well this time, there's still a spot for you at the victory feast. Yeah, even though we're not participating in the competition together, we're still friends, aren't we? Of course. Anyway, you guys should get going before it's too late. Go form a really strong team, okay? Oh. Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Looks like that little girl over there was just abandoned. Wonder what happened. Oh, she looks so sad, too. Huh? Gosh, um, I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Wait, I haven't seen you around the tribe before. Are you travelers? Yep, we just got to Natland. Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm Kachina, Uthabiti Kachina. Oh, that's something we call an ancient name. It's a tradition we have here in Natland, although it's kind of complicated to explain. You can think of it like a title for now. If you're here for the pilgrimage of the return of the Sacred Flame, you'll find out what they mean soon enough. So, this pilgrimage, is that what you were discussing earlier? Oh, yeah! It's a competition we hold every so often, where everyone competes to try and get the highest ranking. The competition receives tons of attention, so if you place highly, you're guaranteed instant acclaim, and you earn the right to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Basically, the winners become heroes, and that's pretty much everyone's goal around here. Sounds like a massive fighting tournament or something. Do you have to be in a team to participate? Well, due to the sheer number of participants, the pilgrimage is actually divided into two phases. Phase one is a team competition. Usually an ancient name bearer serves as the team captain and leads their team in various battles around Natlin with the goal of capturing sacred flame. Oh, and an ancient name bearer is just someone with one of those titles I mentioned earlier. Someone like me. Once the team competition is over, the participants from the winning teams qualify to take part in individual one-on-one -on -one matches. Yeah, the skill seems pretty huge. Wait a minute. If ancient name bearers lead the teams, that means you must be a team captain. Sure am. Although, I don't exactly have any team members anymore. <laughs> the key to winning is in the strength of the team captain. That's what everyone says, but uh... The difference in strength between bears can practically be night and day. So, 
their decision does make sense. I'd feel the same way if I were in their shoes. All ancient name bearers have to take part. It's our duty. So if no one wants to be on my team, then I'll just go it alone. At worst, I'm looking at a few extra scrapes and scratches. I'm not great at fighting, but I always manage to get back on my feet in no time. Psst, Traveler. Based on the direction of this conversation, Paimon thinks it might be time for us to do our thing. Yep, yep! Time for the next phase of our journey to start for real! Um, what are you guys talking about? Uh, 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 sorry, didn't mean to freak out on you. I just... Uh, how should I put this? I really appreciate the offer. That's so unbelievably generous of you. But only people from that one are allowed to take part in the pilgrimage. Oh, Paimon thought we could just join your team and fight our way to the top and then become heroes. It's all right. Really. I... I mean... No one's ever offered to join my team before. Really? We're all usually on good terms, but... Whenever pilgrimage registration rolls around, it feels like everyone starts avoiding me. They don't make eye contact or bring up the pilgrimage. It's like they're afraid I'll ask them to join my team. I probably don't even need to explain the reason. I'm too weak. It's pretty obvious there's nothing to gain from being on my team. That really doesn't matter to you? Oh, don't you worry. The Traveler's strong enough for the three of us. Gods, dragons, giant narwhals. He can give them all a run for their mora. Oh, I get it. You were able to overlook my lack of strength because you're confident in your own skills. That's right. We always try to help people out during our travels. That's what makes a true adventurer. A true adventurer. You guys are really special. You know you're strong, but you don't take yourselves too seriously. That's exactly the kind of person I want to become. You're planning on staying in that lane for a little while, right? Mind if I try to learn from you while you're here? Learn from us? Yeah, you know, like a disciple or a sidekick. You don't even have to teach me anything. I'll just observe. I promise I won't be in the way. Besides, I can take you to see the sights and introduce you to Natlin in the meantime. What do you think, Traveler? Seems like she really looks up to you. Oh, right. Didn't those people from earlier say the registration period was about to end? You don't need to focus on finding new teammates? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be able to manage it this close to the deadline anyway. I lose all the time. I'm used to it. Everyone around me is used to it. So it's fine. No one expects anything out of me. But if I manage to learn a thing or two from you, I might just pull off a win next time. <laughs> Thank you! Who would have thought I'd get the chance to meet such impressive adventurers? <laughs> Today must be my lucky day! Well, come with me, you two. I'll show you where I grew up and introduce you to our tribe, the Children of Echoes. Kachina, a member of the Children of Echoes. I adore green fruits and would love to become more strong, even though I'm still not much of a fighter. Uh, I should probably save all that for later, right? Then, um, are you hoping to go somewhere? I'm pretty familiar with these parts, so I can show you the way. <laughs>
Many of our tribes people love music and dance and have an amazing sense of rhythm. In the past, Outlanders have come here just to study our culture and exchange views. My parents wanted me to learn dance, but I wanted to become a warrior instead. always seem to think of Ayo as my pet, but that's not the case at all. Ayo and I go on adventures together, but he also has a Saurian family and a place to stay of his own. Sometimes he even brings his entire family over to eat at our house. The children of Echoes have the closest ties to the Tepetli source, which are naturally very friendly to humans. That's how our relationship became what it is today. All Saurians have their own personalities, but... I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. <laughs> See? Ayo agrees with me. <sighs> oh! <laughs> You're here too! No way! You have a soaring companion too! Oh, <laughs> what a sweet little thing! I think your friend here will get along with Ayo just fine. All right, you two go have fun. I've got some important business to handle, and then I'll be right back. No mischief, okay? And you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents. the most cherished and most sacred item in our tribe. It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us and grants us blessings. Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of. We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab to decipher its will. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Isn't that extraordinary? Huh. Kachina, what are you doing here? Chief! Oh, let me introduce you. This is Pakal, the chief of our tribe. Chief, these two just arrived in Natlin. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> uh... Kachina is a child of our tribe. Her safety is my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. I don't know how you met her, but I'm gonna need you to prove your identity. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no need for that, Chief. They're good people. I can feel it. A feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. How about... Uh, we show you our adventurer handbook! It's where all our previous travels are recorded! Hmm... The people who belong to the Adventurer's Guild are kind of a mixed bag. I'd prefer something more reliable. Hmm... Huh. 
You're the traveler, and your Paimon is familiar. Paimon is a guide. Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control. Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make you seem super powerful and mysterious, traveler. Wait, is there something special about those names? You haven't heard? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Really? To earn that kind of praise from the chief? You guys must be even stronger than I thought! Apologies for not trusting your word. Oh, don't worry about it. You were just doing your duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you headed out yet? Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. I may not be much of a fighter, but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? I see. Well, I... I hope I wasn't interrupting anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off, and I might be able to help with the explanations. Let me think. I told them about the Lyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. All right! That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. For example, the most famous bear of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old. Even though he wasn't quite where he used to be physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past, but they're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course! Here, take a look! Whoa! That black stone looks so mysterious! It's like there's something shiny inside it! The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an ancient name. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear and their deeds are then preserved within it. As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers, and their value becomes even more profound. In turn, the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Just like me. <laughs> I'm still not sure why our Wyab chose me of all people. But... If I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Then you're saying the stone doesn't have any actual power? Like it's not gonna make Paimon super strong or smart? None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned or given? Oh, Paimon gets it! If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. <clears throat> Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian rock. Yet future bearers looked upon them and saw strength. The miracles of the past become the motivations of the present. The limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. 
As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together, just you watch. Well, it's getting late. I've got to get to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Oh, uh, right. I'm not sure where you're headed, but mind taking a detour with me? Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep. And outside of competition season, it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Of course! She's the most important figure in the entire event! Sounds like a plan, then. Let's go! Well, if the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. Be on your way now. All right, we're off. See you later, Chief. <sighs> I got so carried away just now, I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. Luckily, that's not the case. Or, well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the Chief about your team? <sighs> chief Pakal's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, he might even ask to join me. But he's not as young as he used to be. And he's got some old injuries that still bother him. He's not cut out for any more attempts. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. Yeah, your teammates left you high and dry and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natlan. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation. Not out of a selfish desire for glory, but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. It'll also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. All right, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, is also in that direction. Let's go! is so pretty. Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? You betcha. Beautiful, effortlessly confident, and absolutely awesome. Oh, since we're here, you might as well go get your shiny new elemental powers, Traveler. Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? Oh, 
just you watch, Kachina. Flame pillars by now? Strange. Must be something unique to Natland. Sorry, Kachina. We got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's all right. If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only vision bearers can use. C could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Take it away, traveler! Anyway, I was right! You really are something special! Just wait until you hear about our previous adventures! Devalin. We've come so far. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us, so here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> it's actually candy. My mom made them. I always bring a few when I know I'm going to be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. Woo! Paimon loves candy. Thanks! My pleasure, my pleasure! I've got all sorts of bits and bobs on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. 